Legends speak of a mighty civilization, a realm of unparalleled splendor and wisdom lost beneath the waves. Atlantis, the very name conjures images of a utopia doomed by its own hubris. But did this enigmatic island continent ever truly exist? Tonight we delve into the murky depths of history, myth, and speculation, seeking the truth behind one of humanity's oldest mysteries. Join us as we traverse ancient texts, explore underwater ruins, and contemplate theories both conventional and extraordinary. Our tale begins with the philosopher Plato, whose dialogues Timaeus and Critias first introduced the world to Atlantis. Written around 360 BC, these texts describe a powerful and technologically advanced civilization that existed 9,000 years before his own time. According to Plato, Atlantis was an island empire beyond the Pillars of Hercules, known today as the Strait of Gibraltar. It was a utopian society with advanced engineering, vast resources, and a sophisticated culture. But was Plato recounting history or weaving a parable of human ambition and downfall? His works leave us with more questions than answers. Some scholars argue that Plato's Atlantis was purely allegorical, a fictional device to illustrate moral and philosophical lessons. The story, they suggest, was intended to convey the dangers of hubris and the moral decay that can accompany great power. Yet, others propose that the legend could be rooted in real events, suggesting that Plato's tale was a distorted memory of an actual place, a distant echo of a forgotten world. These competing views have fueled endless debate and speculation, each side offering compelling arguments. The search for Atlantis has led explorers to the far corners of the globe. Theories abound. From the sunken city of Helic in Greece, swept away by a tsunami in 373 BC, to the mysterious Bimini Road in the Bahamas, with its strangely regular stone formations, each discovery, each tantalizing clue, reignites the hope that Atlantis might finally be found. Divers and archaeologists painstakingly map the ocean floor, hoping to uncover evidence that could validate Plato's account. Could these ruins be remnants of the fabled Atlantis, or are they merely coincidental formations? One of the most compelling hypotheses links Atlantis to the island of Thera, present-day Santorini. Around 1600 BC, a catastrophic volcanic eruption devastated the Minoan civilization, one of the most advanced societies of its time. The parallels to Plato's account are striking, a powerful island society destroyed by a natural disaster. Archaeological excavations on Santorini have revealed sophisticated urban planning, advanced engineering, and vibrant frescoes all hinting at a civilization that could inspire the myth of Atlantis. Could Thera be the true Atlantis, its story preserved in Greek memory and myth? Yet, there are those who believe Atlantis lies far deeper beneath the sea. Advances in marine technology have allowed us to explore the ocean floor as never before. Sonar maps reveal tantalizing shapes and structures, whispering of ancient ruins buried under millennia of sediment. The deep ocean, largely unexplored, holds countless secrets and mysteries. From the Bermuda Triangle to the depths of the Mediterranean, the quest for Atlantis drives explorers into the most remote and inhospitable parts of our planet. But the ocean is vast, and its secrets are jealously guarded. Beyond the realm of archaeology, the legend of Atlantis has seeped into our collective consciousness. Ancient astronaut theorists, fringe historians, and esoteric scholars all claim Atlantis as their own. They speak of advanced knowledge, of extraterrestrial influence, 
of a civilization that reached heights we can scarcely imagine. These theories, often dismissed by mainstream science, offer a tantalizing glimpse into the possibilities of human history. They suggest that Atlantis was not merely a powerful civilization but a pinnacle of ancient knowledge, potentially far surpassing our current understanding. Throughout history, Atlantis has been a canvas for our deepest fears and highest aspirations. It is a story that evolves with each generation, reflecting our hopes for a golden age and our anxieties about collapse and ruin. In its mystery, we find a mirror showing us both the best and worst of human nature. The story of Atlantis has inspired countless interpretations, from utopian ideals to cautionary tales of arrogance and decline. Each retelling adds a layer to the myth, perpetuating its allure and keeping the legend alive. Even today, Atlantis endures in our culture. It inspires art, literature, and films, a testament to its enduring allure. From Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea to Disney's animated adventures, Atlantis continues to capture our imagination. Architects design buildings with Atlantean motifs, while authors and filmmakers explore its mysteries through new stories and interpretations. It is a symbol, a mystery, and perhaps a warning. The legend of Atlantis serves as a reminder of the potential consequences of human ambition and the fragility of our achievements. So, did Atlantis ever exist? The answer remains elusive, hidden in the depths of time and the ocean's embrace. Perhaps in the end, Atlantis is more than a place. It is an idea, a story that beckons us to explore the unknown and to seek truth in the shadows of the past. And as long as we are captivated by its mystery, Atlantis will never truly be lost. It lives on in our quest for knowledge, our dreams of discovery, and our enduring fascination with the mysteries of the world.